Well, this uh, match is from the second quarter of the draw. Incidentally, all matches today are from the top half of the draw, unless players in the top half of the draw uh, were involved in finals day at last week's German Open, only finished on Sunday. They get reprieve and play their first round matches on Wednesday. Uh, apart from that, all top half of the draw matches played on Tuesday. The Olympic champion, Chen Fei, she's uh, safely through. And as you can see, Pompawi uh, Chochuwong has reversed the result of the 2021 All England Women's Singles Final, beating Nozomi Okuhara. If you were with us Up earlier... next on the Minoru Yoniyama court in the Women's Singles, Indonesia's Gregoria Mariska Tunjung against Denmark's Lena Kaiersfeld. So the two players unseeded both of them here at this year's all england championships now this uh, like our last match will be a third meeting between these two pairs and it is gregoria maruska tunjun who has won the two previous last time they met was in the first round of the japan 750 events in 2019 so they haven't played against each other for some considerable time first time they met it was three games so this is the 23 year old from Wanagiri in central Java currently 14 in the world ranking which is one place down from her career high which she achieved in june 2019 in fact four weeks in total at 13 but i think she's heading in the right direction i think she's playing extremely well and is likely to go up she's making her fourth appearance here at the all england championships and she is a former world junior champion having won in 2017 in Jogjakarta, the Tanyue in the final of those World Junior Championships. Alina Kiesfeld will turn 29 next month, born in Aarhus, uh, but lives in Copenhagen. She actually went down one place on the world rankings, uh, which were published earlier today, down to 21, but did spend a total of three weeks across two different spells at 16 in the world ranking now quite remarkably this is her 10th consecutive all england appearance she's been in a couple of second rounds but never progressed past the second round her first time was in 2019 and then again in 2020. so she's also won gold at the european games that was in baku in azerbaijan back in 2015 Ready to play. last time around at the European Games ready to play so our court officials from Austria and the service judge is from England Danish coaching bench, Kenneth Jonasson, sitting further away from us. He is the head coach, and Jesper Hugo, nearest to us. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, Indonesia. And on my left, Lina Heuma Kiersfeld, Denmark. Gregoria Mariska Tunjung to serve. Love all. Play.
So it is the Indonesian youngster. Oh, my Dino goodness me. Second match running. We've had a challenge in. on the very first point of the match. Left the serve. She's pretty confident, I can tell you, because she's kept hold of the shuttle. Now, I think she must have thought that was wide. I think it was perfectly all right for Lenz. I think the drift just caught it, and yeah, it's gone yeah. out. Yeah, well, it was a jolly good Correction. challenge. Correction, out. Service so over. A service error on the first One. point of the match Love. from Tunjun. Play. Nicely done. Service over. She's been playing well of late, hasn't she, Tunjun, Chris? Yeah, I actually think she's one of the most improved lady singles players on tour at the moment. She's had some fantastic results. I'd say over the last six months, she's really come along. Yeah, just to emphasise the point and Two, how well she's one. been playing. Uh, she's beaten the reigning world champion twice in the last 12 months. That's Akane Yamaguchi. Uh, beat the Olympic champion, Chen Fei in the first match of the World Tour Finals in Bangkok at the end of last year. And also beat He Bing Jiao, who was the Olympic semi-finalist. Just missed it. Service over. Two all. Tight spinning neck shot from Three, this young two. lady. You can see the phenomenal spin that she put on that. Representative in the women's singles, this young lady from Indonesia. Compare that to the men's singles, there's four Indonesians in the men's singles raw. Five pairs in the men's Service doubles, over. five pairs in the mixed doubles, four all. and only one pair in the women's doubles. Change. Is that indicative of Indonesian badminton at the moment, Chris, in that the male players in world terms are doing better than the female players. Uh, so the mixed doubles, they're, they're doing very well. They've got numerous good mixed doubles pairs. Yeah, I would say at the moment, I mean, the men are phenomenal. In men's doubles, I mean, it's almost unbelievable how good they are in regards to, I don't know the exact stat, but it's something it's like they maybe have six pairs Five, in the top 22 four. in the world or something like that, which is unbelievable. Um, men's singles as well under um, Owen Saar, they seem to be doing really, really well, and they seem such kind of a tight knit, as in they seem to get on so well with each other, Service it seems over. such a good group. And um, I'd say maybe at the moment, they just don't have the depth in the ladies. They've got phenomenal ladies doubles pair, and I think Gregoria's, you know, playing brilliant, but I just don't think they have that depth that they do in the no, men's. I agree with you. And to be precise on the men's doubles rankings, it's six pairs in the top 20 in the world. Even, even better than I thought. I mean, that is a Service crazy over. statistic, that. Six, five. Oh. 
if you look at almost every other country and the sixth ranked pair in the men's doubles category um, where they would be I think it would it would show people just how phenomenal uh, Indonesian men's doubles is at the moment yeah Oh, indecision there from Tunjun. Seven, five, eight. She's got lovely skills, though. I do like watching uh, Gregorio Mariska Tunjun. Yeah, she's got great touch, um, moves the shuttle around well. She's got quite a relaxed uh, kind of style the way she plays, but she, she moves incredibly well as well. Only one over. women's singles player from Indonesia Six, has won the All England seven. in the Open era, and that was. I suppose you weren't born then either. Hopefully not, so I can use that as an excuse. <laughs> but you must have heard of the great Susie Susanti. Okay, yes, yep, I have heard of her. I yeah. know. But I do believe, maybe, I, was, I hope I wasn't born, just because then it does give me that, uh, <laughs> that, that excuse. But it's the history of these events that make them so special, isn't it, Chris? I mean, Service you know, over. we're talking about a, a great Susie Susanti from Six. Indonesia. Is this player, can she achieve that sort of amount? And as far as Denmark is concerned, well, I mean, they've had a women's singles winner much more recently in Tina Rasmussen, became Tina in a bound, uh, got married before she won her third title here. In fact, her third title here was her last ever tournament. What a way to go out on the world stage. Yeah, I mean, she was a special player. She was phenomenal. Um, but I think it's it's interesting how it can often, I do think, going back to we mentioned Nine, earlier about uh, Chan from India, I do think his phenomenal success when he won the All England, it did start a little revolution in India. And then I think when Saina won the Olympic medal, it created an even bigger revolution. And if you look at India now, they are... You know, they're a superpower. Whereas if you go back sort of maybe 15 years, they were they were good, but they were nowhere near as good as they are now. Service over. Seven. Nine. It's a good return Seven. of serve. There's a lovely bit of skill there from Lena. Oh, goodness. It's over. What on earth Eight. happened there? Ten. Seemed to be early. Seemed to be in balance, seemed to be in a good position. And then it never really hit the shot. I think it was maybe just too many things running through her head, because exactly right, Jill. She was in such a good position, she could have played any shot she wanted, and maybe just held on for a little bit too long before she actually decided which shot she wanted to play. And that's another one. Oh, it's Nine. too deep in the forehand Ten. corner. But she's trying to exploit the deep forehand corner of Tunjun, is Kersfeld. I think it's also the, the safe zone in the rear because on the backhand or the round the head you've got the drift to contend with. So it's easier to not hit out because the shot is slightly coming back into court on that side. So to the mid-game interval with a two-point advantage. Lina Kiersfeld. Nine minutes played. Yeah. Okay. Gregorio, 
11 9. Play. Oh, it has a good punch clear. And then misses with what should have been the winner. 12, 9. Do you think uh, Gregoria is, she is pretty deceptive overhead? Her shots overhead pretty much look the same. Oh, she's got beautiful skills overhead. Yeah. Just long. 13, 9. I don't really feel like Gregoria settled yet in this, in this match. She just seems a little bit edgy, a bit nervy. I'd say quite a few unforced errors, quite simple unforced errors as well. Over. 10, 13. Yeah. 11, 13. Couldn't really do anything with the attempted kill there. Cares felt. Uh, that's just the decision making from Lena, but it's so tough because you get a billionth of a second or whatever it is to make that quick decision, and she's gone for it when it wasn't quite the right time. The shot was just too good from Gregoria. Just wide and long. I, I like that though, Chris. 14, I mean, okay, uh, she lost the rally, but she's sending a message to her opponent. You play anything loose at the net, I'm going to pounce on it. And, and therefore, she's trying to take out that net play from Tunjun. So I don't see it. I see the entirety of, of the effect of that within the game, within the next rallies, so rather than just saying, oh, well, she lost the point. 12, 14. Yeah, I think the crucial thing is the score in regards to can you try it when you're three or four points up, definitely. Can you try if it's... You know, you're 19, 16 down, down probably not. But I would agree with you. It almost sends that message that, you know, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm going to pounce on it if you play anything loose. Thank you. Twelve, fourteen. Oh, there she is again, pushing that deep forehand corner of the Indonesian. And it's been a really Service good over. tactic so far. 15, 12. Here it is. Look how low she's forced to take that. Thank you. Hold and flick down into that deep hand forehand corner of Tunjun. He has caused her trouble today. Wait, leave it. 15, 12. Oh, goodness me. Where did that come from? 16. That's a super 12. shot. Found the line. Service over. That's a lovely shot. 13, 16. Change. Where's the racket head here? Just never really follows through. It's sort of like a, a clip, a, a punch towards the, the shuttle when she plays that. That's what caused the disguise. Oof. Missed opportunity. 
16. It's a good defensive shot, though, from Tunjun, wasn't it? it you know, it's a fantastic uh, pickup. But in that situation, Lena doesn't have to force her. She just has to try and outmaneuver her again to get into another good position rather than thinking she has to do something incredible to win the point. Deep forehand again. It's over, That's a lovely shot. Yeah. Finds the line. 18, 14. And Gregoria Atunjun really isn't seeing the shots going down her forehand corner. Not judging it properly at all. And that's clearly in. Yeah, I'd say this, this first game, Lena's probably only made three wrong decisions. Except for that, she's done everything to a good standard and you know, she's got the lead, and that's a great shot. But yeah. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say Lena's done anything incredible. 19, I'd just say Gloria at the moment is just finding things a bit, a bit trickier. She's struggling a bit more. She hasn't settled into the match yet. Yeah, no real backswing or follow through with that little clip down from Kiersfeld. It's gone long, and now it's game point opportunities. 20. On a run of four game straight point points. 14. Six game point opportunities for the former European Games gold medalist. Oh, she didn't even move. That's an indication 50, of the 20. disguise on the smash from Tunjun. Watch Kiersfeld here. It, it's not out to the side of her, and she just can't react to it. It wasn't near the side of the court. Great disguise. Yeah. And she knows it too. That's gone long, and opening game to Lena Kiersfeld of Denmark. First game won by Lena Homer Kiersfeld. 21-15. Umpar confirming 21-15. Opening game lasting 18 minutes. And a very sharp-looking Kersfeld in game number one. It's every time we shift. Okay. I think it's still here with Lukas Spekt, when we remember it. And this has something to do with the back. I see that they play a lot more than the other. For example, they slow it up with the other. They play a lot more. Okay? Yeah. Det virker, altså for nu svært ved at finde den mængde, så kan du komme på hende, enten nedad eller over. Jeg synes ikke rigtig, at der er noget, der skal ændre sig her. Det er, at vi stadig har fokus på, når vi spiller hendes, hendes rounded head down, især, så tænker vi rigtig meget nedad. Jeg synes også, at meget tydeligt viser, at foran tjørnen, det gør mere ondt på hende. Ja. Jadi kayak kalau kita udah sejajar, dia selalu geser ke sini. Harusnya lebih baca sih. Terus kalau keluar ini dia pasti kan lewat orang, lewat orang. Terus kamu baca sih. Kadang ada dup dup, kadang kadang geser. Ya, kamu kalau mainnya ngadu terus gitu nggak tidur, polanya nggak ada nggak jalan. Oke, ya tenang ya, ya bisa. Seconds, 
second game. Lovell. Play. So here we go, second game. Lena Kersfeldt, one game to the good against Gregoria Mariska Tunjun. Third is over. One, love. Well, the winner of this match on Thursday in second round action will play against Chai Wan, who had a victory over her fellow Thai compatriot, Varachan Okintanon, who was a two-time beaten finalist here. Oh, now that's nice. Now Lena Kiersfeldt was doing that to her in the opening game. She's learned from her opponent. She's doing it back. Yeah, the, the skill level on the shot is unbelievable. Taking it early. Almost a double action, wasn't it? Athletes, numerous different Two. sports, not just in badminton, uh, seem to write messages to themselves in their body art because one of the earlier matches, Tu Yi, on his forearm, has body hope, uh, no, body, body art that says believe. Wants to believe in himself, and Lenny Kiersfeld has got hope. Yeah, I think sometimes we're our, own, we're our biggest critics as well. Um, I think we doubt ourselves too much. Often the players that can have the most confidence in themselves to achieve success often do. And I think it's just a reminder of that that they're putting on their arm or yeah. wherever it is so they can remind themselves you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Great skill at the net from Kiersfeld. Oh. Just wide. Service over. Three, two. But using this side, Lean is going to have to be just a little bit careful of the forehand just because the drift is just sneaking it out. Four, two. to me though Chris because it seems to me in that last rally Lena Kiersville didn't play one single shot to the back of the court maybe afraid of hitting long but everything was in a downward direction and that's fine the line is over five three yeah I think it could also be you know she knows how good Gregoria's attack is and she doesn't want to give her the chance to attack because she has so much variation overhead so she's trying to keep the shuttle down to keep the advantage. Oh, yeah, she's using the back of the court now. Rally. Mm. Six. Three. 
Well, desperately trying to take the shuttle as early as possible, and as she did with one of her attempted net shots in the opening game, not really playing the shot, not staying with the shot action. Just sort of poking her racket towards it rather than a little bit of follow through. Get the forward momentum. Out. Seven, three. Five of the last six points to this lady. There's definitely been a momentum shift, hasn't there, Chris? What What's precipitated that? I think the thing is now, I would definitely say Lena's maybe struggling a bit more with, with the end she's on. When she's lifting, I feel like it's a bit more of an edgy lift. We saw the rally before she lifted and it was a long way out. Um, and then sometimes when she's lifting, it's quite short. I think she's not, that's a fantastic shot. But I mean, she's quite got the feeling down that end. And, you know, Gregoria's not done much wrong this side, but she's kind of just feeling herself into the game as well. Um, without properly playing, it's hard to tell. It could just be the side Gregoria's at is a much nicer end to play at. For a singles player. Not necessarily for doubles. Yeah, and it could be different players have different preference if they want to play slightly against the drift or slightly with it or... Yeah, I think singles players want to play against the drift, don't they? So they can use the back of the court well. They can punch through with their lifts and their clears. Without Five. fear of it going out to the back. And the singles is much more about trying to outmaneuver your opponent, playing to all four corners of the court, waiting until you get your opponent out of position. Whereas doubles is much more about the attacking play. Oh no, it's just Done. wide. Lena Harma here, spell challenges, well, called out. No wonder she's challenged. Yeah, I thought it was magnificent. Indeed, it Correction. was. Correction in. Good challenge. Is over six nine. Play. Service My over. goodness me. All set up Ten. with the delightful block, Six. though, Chris. Yes. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic block. And then the shot here. You know, when it's slowed down, it's hard to quite appreciate how, you know, she's so talented. Like, as in the skill she has to hold it, she can hit it anywhere. So it's so hard for Lena to know where it's going. Um, and this is why, for me, why Gregoria, she's beaten. I think you named earlier, Jill, four of the best lady singles players in the world because she has something that's that little bit different. Yeah. Oh, yes, just inside 11, the line. Six, and it is a five-point advantage for Gregoria Mariska Tunjun. 
of Indonesia here in the second game, but she is a game down. Seconds. So the call of 20 coaches seconds to to your chairs. was an indication that the coaches should return to their chairs and the players Coach. should get back on court. Now, unless you can translate for 11, us, Chris, six. on what was said there in the Danish coaching uh, break, is that a Quite. no? You can't translate it? I'm going to ask you then, what um. would you have been saying to her? What would you be advising her? Well, the, the big thing is here, Elena hasn't done a lot wrong. If, if anything, Seven, Gregoria has upped her game considerably. Seven, but 11. can Gregoria keep her level, at, you know, like it is? She's still not finding it really comfortable. Um, so the thing is, Lena's got to stick with her. She's made a few kind of unforced errors, but she's not doing a lot wrong. Can Gregoria keep hitting phenomenal shots? If she does, on one hand, you can allow the second set to go to her, but she, Lena's got to just stick with her. She can't give her any easy points. Out. Right, it's just right long. There. Service over. 12. She's definitely finding seven. it harder. This end, Lena is to attack the forehand corner, which, as you highlighted, Jill, proved so so good in the first game. This this one, she's really struggling with the ends, as in the drift. A lot of a lot of it's going out. She's still trying to plug that deep forehand, isn't she? Out. There's another one that's gone long. 13. And that's the problem. That's what I was alluding to a moment ago when I was talking about singles players. So much more difficult to play with the drift because when you try and play a, an attacking shot to the back of the court, that's what's liable to happen. It's liable to go long. In which case, you can't really use the back of the court. There's another one. 14. So, Seven. Then you can only hit attacking shots or, or back to the net. You lose part of the court that, that you can expose as being a weakness on your opponent's play. I think the big thing is for me, Lena's not adjusting the height of her, her shots in the rear or the control. She's hit maybe four in the rear court, kind of in the last, over. I don't know what it is, five rallies that have all gone Eight, out, but she's not 14. adjusting the height. She's got to give it slightly more height for the shot to slow down, so it's not going to go out, or she's got to be able to control it, because as you say, if she can't hit to the back of the court, I mean, crikey, that's, that's yeah. a large obstacle then that she has to overcome. Yeah, but, I mean, the, the dilemma for her is, is if she gives it more height, then, of course, she gives her opponent time, Nine, and as we both uh, praise the overhead skills and deception of Tunjun, uh, then... Lena Kersfeld herself giving her opponent more time is is going to be struggling to read the attacking shots. Yes, it's, it's a dilemma. Yes, it's the fine line between she she's got to give the shuttle enough height that she's moving her opponent, but as you say, not so much time that Gregory is in Service a fantastic over. position and can do anything she wants. 15, but now, nine. now you can definitely see the frustration just starting to hit in for Lena, and just a few more cheap points are starting to um, starting to slip. Overdone it. 16, 9. Oh, that's nice. Service over. Yeah. Got Tunjun in a bit of a tangle. 
Oh. Service over. General, she gave that a bit of a height. 17. So that 10. it would come down so steeply once it had crossed the line of the net. Just have a look at this net shot. Look how she gives it height and how close that was to the net. That is wonderful play from Tunjun. Yeah, Lena Kearsville trying to do the same. Yeah, now that's a perfect example of what we were talking about, Chris. You know, she gave Tunjun a little more time. Look, the clear's a little bit higher and then she's open to the deceptive shots. Yeah, I think Lena now, she's she's got quite tense and edgy and 19, she's lost her rhythm. 10. And I mean, if we're, if, we're, if we're being brutally honest, of the 19 points that Gregoria has, I think Lena, unfortunately, has probably made 12 unforced errors. Um, and Gregoria hasn't had to do a lot to win the other points. I think that may be a little harsh. I think some of the errors have been forced, but I know exactly what you're saying. She, she hasn't played a tight enough game, has she? Over. And you just can't afford to do that at this level. 19. No, but it, it's, not, it's not a massive difference from the first game. So it could just be that the end that Lena's currently at is, is tougher to play down. And um, it could prove really important if it does go to three, three games. 12, 19. So game point opportunities. Twenty. For game point. Gregoria Mariska Tunjun to level this first round match at one game apiece. Game. One game all. Twenty-one twelve. Second game won by Gregoria Mariska Tunjun. Twenty-one twelve. One game all. So we will be treated to a third and deciding game. 38 minutes, just under. It's a one game all. Second game, final game. Love all. Play. So third and deciding game in this first round women's singles encounter. Lena Kiersfeldt of Denmark had won the opening game to 15, but what a great comeback in the second game. A good response from Gregoria Mariska Tunjun. Oh, got the net cord there. What an opening rally to this deciding game. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the longest rally of the match. backhand oh get up get up no she's not going to well one love I hope she's all right I think she just ran out of steam 
but their rally was fantastic, and this is what I've been waiting for. Under the net. Under the line judge. Line judge. Yeah, she'd had enough of that rally. Under the net. What a terrific opening rally to the deciding game. One love. Yeah, she didn't want to run anymore. Longest rally. 43 shots. Yeah. Two love. Now, I think that Lena Kiersfeld needs to be awfully careful here because I think if Tunjun gets a little cushion, I think she's going to grow and grow in confidence. And I think that Kiersfeld is going to struggle psychologically to have the belief that she can come back. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you there, Jim. Yeah, that's found the back line Three. as well. No. Often when the obstacle or the hill gets bigger and bigger, we start to cast more and more doubt on ourselves and then we struggle with with other things and I think Lena played so well in the first game you know she looked so composed she handled the end well and then second set slipped away from a little bit and exactly as you said she just doesn't want to allow the, th the third game to start in that same manner no Bit of slice on that from Tunjun. Four, a racket head coming through extremely quickly because it's a glancing blow, and yet the shuttle dies particularly quickly because the extra spin on the shuttle creates extra wind resistance, and therefore the shuttle slows quicker. Well, this is a great start by Tunjun. Yeah, I would agree. I'd say she started this this game incredibly well. I mean, this is. This is the player we spoke about at the beginning of the match. Yes. Who's, you know, defeated some of the very best players in the world. Great shot there. Yeah. That's nice. Sir, That's my goodness, she needed that. One, four. Just long. Well, she's going to challenge that. Is Kiersfeld called out? She was really continuing with the tactic that you said earlier, Joe, of peppering the forehand corner. Yeah, it was indeed long. Challenge just one challenge left in this deciding one game. Challenge remaining. Service over. Five, three, play. Oh, that was desperately close. Six, three. And that hit at the top of the tape and decided to stay her side. The Danish side of the court. Oof. Millimeters away. Yeah, look at the reaction, the look of disappointment. Wait. Yeah. Six, three. 
And that could have a big impact on this deciding game. It's gone wide. Oh, well, it's called Gregoria in. Mariska Tunjung and challenges Tunjung called in. With her first challenge of the match. But you only get one, uh, three challenges per game. So she can't carry her non used challenges from the first and second game over. I thought it just clipped the line. Did but, you? Yeah, but we are a long, long way away. You're right, Chris. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. I think the difficult, difficult thing for Lena is at the moment. Service over. Four. When six. she played the second game, she really did struggle with that end. And she Play. knows that if she doesn't go into the lead at 11, she's got this bad end for her to contend with. And that's the thing. Is it going to be playing in the back of her mind, or is she going to take it on and accept it? And oof, that was an unbelievable net shot. Ah, oh, that's a pity so from Kiesfeldt's Seven, perspective four. because she really outmaneuvered Tunjun. She played to all four corners of the court. Deep forehand, deep backhand, backhand net. That time she was going for the forehand net that made the error. The big thing for me there is Lena's in a great position. She's on balance, she's taking the shuttle above the tape. Um, she's got kind of control of the rally and it's Again, a fairly uh, comfortable unforced error. Yeah. Now, I so really over. like the placement of that smash from Kiesfeld. Five, seven. That one. Towards the right hip. And Tunjun getting in a tangle on her defence. And therefore just popping the shuttle up into the air. We haven't seen many body smashes, have we, so far? That was excellent. Six, well, considering that seven. she was loved four down at the start of this deciding game, Lena Kersfeld has done exceptionally well. Now just one point in it. I'd say, yeah, that rally was brilliant. And she, she's just dipping in and out. If you, it, like, she plays a fantastic rally and then she makes a, a slightly more comfortable shot. Service over. Eight, six. Eight, six. Oh, that is one of the best shots Service over. she's played all day, Kiers felt. Seven. Clipping eight. that smash down across court. It was all about the acute angle. Again. All about the placement. Placement and angle can be devastating in badminton. Off. And there, a bit so of power. Nine, seven. Did you see that, Chris? There was a slight bit of the reverse slice on that smash. Just that little bit of deception. I think that's what Gregoria is so good at. In the overhead, she does have that phenomenal. Was that in or out? Well, it's called in. Service over. She's only got one challenge left. Eight, nine. Yeah, no, she's got a lovely reverse. The way she hits it, it's, it's very deceptive. Um, she hits it very clean, the shuttle. I think it's a trait of Indonesians, as indeed it is with the Thai players, this easy, relaxed hitting motion that they have. 
Yeah, I definitely agree. So it's a different technique to some, uh, let's say, Northern Asia who, who strike the shot very differently. Nine ball. of the last eight points to Lena Kiersfeld. But as you were saying, Chris, it is vitally important for the Dane that she has the advantage at the change of ends if she's got the perceived bad end to finish the match. Ten, nine. Over. This is the difficult ball. thing now for Lena. No matter what happens, she's either one point up or one point down at the interval. And how is she going to come out when they do change ends? That's going to be the real interesting thing. The advantage, albeit just a solitary Eight point to advantage change at the change of ends here in the deciding game. Well, considering she was love four down and four Why seven down, please. she's done a waffle well. 11 10 the deciding game. Det gør det jo, fordi hun også har set, at det virker bare ligger på mig. Ja. Det vigtigste er, at det kan være i den del. Men det er også svært at komme ud af, hvis hun spiller for kort, jo. Ja, det er det. Bare holde fast i trykket. Så bliver det vigtigt, at vi siger, okay, ind af hårde angreb virker, vi skal bare fremad. Altså, det er virkelig, virkelig vigtigt, så hun ikke bare sætter os. Port 1, 20 seconds. Port 1, 20 seconds. Coaches, return to your chairs. <laughs> Eleven, ten, play. So does Lena Kiersfeld have the belief? Now that she's at the more difficult end from which to play. Service over. 11 all. That's one of the unforced errors that you've been talking about, Chris. Simply can't afford that on the return of serve. Not even made your opponent play a shot after the serve. Serve is over. 12 all. I think this is where it's going to be a, a mental game as well in regards to you've got Lena who on paper is the underdog who's not expected to win but this will be a fantastic win for her. You've got Gregoria who's, who's supposed to win. Is she going to feel the pressure uh, and maybe struggle? Over. This is why each point now is so crucial. Only supposed to win because her ranking's higher. 
not because of seedings. There are, neither are seeded. Yeah, on uh, on paper she's ranked uh, a few places higher. So, yeah, she's seven places high. Yeah, she, she's the one who the bookies, let's say, would say she's the favourite. Yeah. But similar level. Like Lena's played at an incredible 14, level. Um, not long ago, making two quarterfinals of two big tournaments. So she can play at a great, great level. She was so Service positive over. in that rally. Determined 40. movement. Oh. Movement with a purpose. What a super final shot. There was slice on that. Lena's just holding the net. She's got no interest in lifting unless she really, really, really has to. Oh, that was her downfall, lifting out the back in the second game, wasn't it? So I can see why Zora. she's using this tactic. I totally agree with 15, you, Chris. 14. Don't want to lift it. You want to play downward or play back to the net. I would say Lena's speed as well. At the start of this, when they changed end, she, she's really come out firing. She's looking probably the quickest she's been the whole match. Yeah. I don't think we need to translate that. I think we can safely say she wasn't happy with herself. Good defense. Oh, well, that's a pity. 16, 14. Yeah, Service you over. could tell she wasn't really on balance 15, when she played that shot, 16. Tingent. I'd say the pace of the rallies that Lena's playing is she's definitely up the pace of the rally. And I'd say she's playing at a quicker speed than uh, Gregory at the moment, but I think Lena's just got to be careful that she doesn't overdo it and force the rallies and then start to react because she's almost trying to play faster than she, than she can play herself. drive from Kersfeld straight down oh. the line yeah I mean the way Lena's played since they changed ends is nothing at all like the second game it's like a totally different player she's come out and full credit to her the way she's well, look at that shot the way she's played since they changed ends she's really taken it to Gregoria just wide and into the lead. 17, 16. 16. Two point advantage on a run of four straight points. Maneuvered. That's well played by Tunjun. Service over. 17, 18. Thank you. Oh, she dropped a racket. Seventeen, eighteen. That's gone wide. And as the match clock ticks over the hour mark, it's one game all and eighteen all.
brilliant. Oh, well, challenges. Challenge from Kiersfeld. Now, I saw that as good, but it was very, very definite challenge from Kiersfeld. I mean, it's so close, and sometimes you see what you want to see. Lena was very confident it was out, but this is why it's amazing we've got Hawkeye, because this is going to be millimetres, and this makes such a big difference. Yep, she was right to challenge. Correction, out. What a moment for that to happen. Service over. 19-18. Play. That's gone wide. And it is two match point opportunities for Lena Kiersfeldt of Denmark. Oh, what a match. It's quite incredible, to be honest, the, the difference in her style of play, the way she's playing from the second game to this. I have to say full credit to Lena and the Danish coaching team because, you know, tactics have changed, her style's changed, everything's changed. She's like a different player. And what a difference it's made. 20. Match point, 18. Oh, off balance. And she still managed to control the drop shot. Service over. Jun Jun. 90. 20. One match point well saved. But another one remains for the day. Good return of save. missed it it was really only a half opportunity she wasn't really behind the shuttle and two match points have come and gone and it is 20 all and extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin what a match oh she's missed another well, 21, having saved two match 20. points, now Gregoria Mariska Tunjun has a match point opportunity herself. youngster Gregoria Mariska Tunjan an obvious disappointment for Lena Kiersfeldt of Denmark had two match point opportunities but couldn't convert and all credit to the former world junior champion Tunjun who held her nerve and in a match lasting an hour and four minutes books her place 15, in the 21, second round 21-12 22-20. Umpire confirming that scoreline. Well, Chris, it really was a thrilling match, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, that, God, that last game had it all. I mean, points all stood up because it was, you know, it was all sorts. And I have to say, I do feel so sorry for Lena because she, she was so close. I mean, we're talking, she had that smash to hit the tape. She had that shot that she tried to brush off and it just hit the tape. We're talking millimetres, but that's the difference between, you know, as cruel as it sounds, winning and losing. And 
I think she should go away from here and just be so impressed with herself, the difference between the second game and when she changed ends, because she was a totally different player. Well, their confirmation of the scoreline, 15, 21, 21, 12, and saving two match in the deciding game, match points before winning 22, 20. And Gregora Mariska Tunjun of Indonesia safely through to the second round where she will play against Chaiwan of Thailand. Well done, well done. Welcome back to Birmingham. Day one of competition at the Yonex All England Championships. Next up, uh, we turn our attention to men's doubles. And it's the former European champions from Denmark, Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen, up against the reigning European champions, Mark Lamsfus and Marvin Seidel. Well, this is from the second quarter of the draw, as you can see in former world champions, Hoki and Kobayashi already through to the second round. 